Your healthcare provider has ordered a medication that will be administered using a CAD pump. This instructional video will help you administer your medication effectively, comfortably, and safely. To get started, remove your medication from the refrigerator at the time specified on your medication label. Never speed the warming process by heating or microwaving the medication. Select a clean work area. Once established, clean your hands thoroughly using antibacterial soap and warm water. If no soap and water is available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Follow by drying your hands with a clean towel. Gather your supplies and prepare your sash mat as instructed. CAD pump, medication bag, IV tubing, flush syringes, alcohol wipes, and if necessary, sharps container and or trash container. Inspect the medication bag. Check the label and verify. Correct name of patient and medication, volume, amount of medication, discard date of medication, Amount of time needed to remove medication from refrigerator to warm to room temperature. Next, change the batteries as directed. Locate the battery door on the right side of the pump. Press the white button and slide the door towards you. Remove the used batteries and discard as instructed. Then, insert the new batteries, silver prongs first. If the batteries are inserted correctly, the pump will beep. Slide the battery door back on. Let the pump power up. You will hear six beeps. This process can take up to a minute. Next, prepare your flush syringes. Prior to using syringes, push firmly on the thumb press with the tip cap still on, just until you feel the plunger move. Expel air and excess solution by twisting off the tip cap and pushing the plunger forward. Push out extra solution to the amount instructed by your nurse. Finally, replace the syringe cap, being careful not to touch the tip of the syringe with your hand. If you touch it, you will need to start over with a clean syringe. Set aside the syringes until you are ready to use it. Repeat this step for all flush syringes needed for dose. You are now ready to prepare your IV medication. Remove the IV tubing from its package, then remove the blue clip from the bottom of the cassette. Remove the tab from the medication bag. Then remove the cover from the spike of the tubing, being careful not to touch the end. Lastly, spike the bag by pushing and twisting the end of the tubing into the bag port. Make sure the spike reaches the medication and does not puncture the bag. You are now ready to connect the tubing to the pump. Insert the new cassette hooks into the pump's hinge pins. Place the pump on a firm surface and push down on top of the pump. Finally, using a coin or the key provided, lock the new cassette to the pump. You will know the cassette is locked when you hear a beep. You are now ready to prime your IV tubing. When priming the tubing, make sure the tubing is not connected to the patient. Press the next key. When the screen reads, reset reservoir volume, press the Y key. Prime tubing will then appear on the screen. Press the Y key. Disconnect tubing from patient and open clamps will then display. Press and hold the Y key until fluid drips from the end of the tubing. You may need to repeat this step three to four times before the fluid gets to the end of the tubing. Lastly, when priming is complete and continue priming appears on the screen, press the N key. You are now ready to flush your IV line with saline. Scrub the needleless connector on your IV catheter with an alcohol wipe for at least 15 seconds and allow to air dry. If order indicates a different scrub product, please follow physician orders for your line. Once cleaned, do not allow the needleless connector to touch anything. Remove the protective cap from the saline flush syringe Attach the saline flush syringe to the needleless connector using a push and clockwise twisting motion until secured together. Open the clamp on your IV catheter and or IV extension set if indicated. Flush your IV catheter using a push-pause method. Do not attempt to flush if resistance is met. Double check that all clamps are open, then call your nurse or pharmacist. Lastly, remove and discard the saline flush syringe in a trash container. 
You are now prepared to administer your medication. Do you want to start the pump will appear on the screen. Press the N key. Compare the pump program to the label on your medication bag by pressing the next key through each pump program. Scrub the needleless connector on your IV catheter for at least 15 seconds and allow to air dry. Remove the protective cap from the IV tubing. Attach the IV tubing firmly to the needleless connector on your IV catheter. Open all clamps on the IV tubing. The one closest to you will already be open from the previous flushing process. Press the Start Stop key followed by the Y key when prompted to begin the infusion. You will know the pump is running when the green light is blinking. The infusion can be paused by pressing the Start Stop key. To resume your infusion where you left off, press the Start Stop key again. Your pump will alarm if you do not restart it within a few minutes. When it is time to change the bag or you have been instructed to stop your infusion, stop the pump by pressing the Start Stop key. When the screen reads, Do you want to stop the pump? Press the Y key. Disconnect the IV tubing and discard all equipment as instructed. If the tubing is to be used again within 24 hours, cover the exposed IV tubing tip with a sterile cap provided. You are now ready to flush your IV line with saline again. Scrub the needleless connector on your IV catheter with an alcohol wipe for at least 15 seconds and allow to air dry. Remove the protective cap from the saline flush syringe. Attach the saline flush syringe to the needleless connector on your IV catheter. Flush your IV catheter using a push-pause method. Close the clamp on your IV catheter and or extension set unless you have been instructed to flush with heparin. Lastly, remove and discard the saline flush syringe in a trash container. This will conclude your IV medication administration unless heparin has been ordered. If ordered, you will need to flush your IV line with heparin. Scrub the needleless connector on your IV catheter with an alcohol wipe for at least 15 seconds and allow to air dry. Remove the protective cap from the heparin flush syringe. Attach the heparin flush syringe to the needleless connector on your IV catheter. Flush your IV catheter using a push-pause method. Close the clamp on your IV catheter and or extension set if indicated. Lastly, remove and discard the heparin flush syringe in a trash container, thus concluding your IV medication administration. Here is a sash procedure summary to ensure you are administering your IV medication effectively. Flush your IV with saline. Administer your medication as instructed by your nurse. Flush again with saline. Flush with heparin. With each administration of IV medication, you will get more comfortable with the supplies and the steps. For any questions or concerns you might have, please contact our highly trained specialty nurses or pharmacists who will help you understand the basics of home infusion therapy and will answer any questions.